All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to the Outer Worlds. It's been a fucking while, hasn't it? And we're only really back because uh, this little bugger over here is brand new. Murder on Eridonis, I think it is. I think we're good to start it. I'm pretty sure we are. I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to uh, hop in and see... But we have to, oh dear lord. Um, where exactly, because I saved at a portion that we'd be able to uh, start it off again. I don't actually know where to start from. Ah, here it is. I think that's uh, where we're able to start. Because I know we, if we pass the point of no return, we can't actually do any other side missions. If not, we'll go back and see. Okay. So. Um... I don't know exactly how to start this. Impeccable timing, Captain. Ah. I was about to watch the latest episode in Halcyon Helen's thrilling serial adventure. Sweet. Just on time. All right, so. Let's t check out my uh, rifle. Okay, I guess that's what I was going with my for my loadout. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Ah, uh, you mentioned Eighth Wave drama. Certainly, Captain. I was hoping you would ask. was the law forsaken parasites. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex-partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. It was death. I made sure the brain eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? News Network with breaking news. Halcyon Helen has been murdered. Administrator Ludovico of Rizzo's refused to answer the big question on everyone's mind. Who will Spectrum Vodka's next spokesperson be? Claiming that a special investigation must be concluded first. Captain, we have a communication coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. 
Um, sure, buddy. Let's see. Uh, let me guess about the Halcyon, Halcyon Helen's murder. All right, Mr. Little Vico. Uh, what can I do for you? How about I just call you Lou? <laughs> How about not? I don't like your <laughs> attitude. I forgot how fucking great this game is. Uh, all right, Mr. Little Vico, what can I do for you? Okay, Lou. Ah, I apologize if I've struck too familiar a tone for your tastes. Let me get right to the point. Halcyon Helen is dead. Murdered. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. But we cannot move forward with our unveiling until we apprehend the killer. Okay, Spectrum Brown sounds like a euphemism for shit, but okay. Um, and our first thought was to come to me, and your first thought was to come to me. Uh, what does this have to do with me? Why are you contacting me? The board doesn't like me very much. All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, Sublight's favorite freelancer. I'm such an admirer of your work. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third-party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel. Least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. I look forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible and drag them out of the shadows. I uh, having trouble seeing the death of a two-bit actor as an assault on the colony. Uh, I was shaken by the news myself. Helen brought a lot of joy to the colony. Never heard of Sublight Underground. Mm. Two-bit actor. Oh, Captain. This isn't Spencer Woolrich we're talking about. This is Halcyon Helen, Princess of Periodicals, Duchess of Dramaturgy. You would not believe the money she made us on Dissident Busters. For law's sake, Cedric, could you show a little discretion and not bring up your contraband operations in front of an outsider? Please, Lou. Sublight Underground is built on discretion. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give her the impression that you can't be trusted. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating a contract? Because I promise you, I'll win. Okay, ladies, uh, you need to calm down. Gentlemen, please, uh, as far as I'm concerned, you're both idiots! <laughs> Uh, can we both get back to the point here? Let me continue. Let, let them argue. Oh my god, what do I want to do? It's either the, it's either the first or the third option. Fuck. Alright, let, let me flip a coin. Heads or tails? Tails, it goes second. Or, or the last one. Letting them argue it is. We can do this anytime you want. I'll even make an appointment. I'm sure your schedule's wide open. What with your product launch being indefinitely delayed due to unforeseen murder. All right, Cedric. If that's how you want to behave, I have no choice but to file an official reprimand on your permanent record. Oh, please do. I'd love an official reprimand from a failed executive. Could you do me a favor and have it laminated? Could we please stop this nonsense? Captain, <laughs> I'm Constable Maria Keene. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. I've been studying your dossier. You're reliable and competent. You've been taking care of yourself ever since you arrived on Halcyon. And you're entirely independent. As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. Sweet, Inspector Vedrana. Sound like the sound of that? Uh, shouldn't it be a constable's job? How, how many people are involved in this communication? Just the three of us. All right, cool. Just three. No one uh, is going to j jump in here unexpectedly. Just checking. It's getting hard to follow with all the arguing. <laughs> you must excuse us. The situation on Eridanos is tense. 
If we don't bring Helen's killer to justice, this scandal could scupper our entire operation. How? Please, Captain. I'm asking you to help us. While you're pursuing your investigation, we'll make you a guest of honor at the Grand Colonial. You can count me in, I'll come to the lounge, uh, lounge around, and then decide. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll see if I'm free in the area. I encourage you to consider this offer seriously. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. Fine. Bud Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. Okay, so Helen must have been a pretty popular if her death could put, your, put an end to your operations. Those two seem to have issues. Obviously, they do. Uh, you seem, seem contempt. Uh, contempt. Uh, you should have dealt with this. Okay. Uh... Helen was more than popular. She gave something to this colony that no product line could ever provide. Real happiness. No one has ever been as well-known or as well-loved. Uh, outside of our courageous business leaders. Right, uh... Sound a bit worn, alright. A uh, worn out? Yeah, she does sound t just tired. She sounds tired. Me? Worn out? <laughs> Perish the notion. My days are filled with catering to the oh-so-reasonable requests of Mr. Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon. What's not to like? Uh, they both seem like jackasses. Uh, them, they're not very likable. <laughs> Your words, not mine. Please don't take my lack of disagreement as anything other than fatigue. I am a content, productive, and happy member of our society. Let's see. Um, those two seem to have... Oh, oh, this is the same stuff. I represent the law, Captain. But what's happening between Mr. Kincannon and the Administrator is... politics. Politics are not my area of expertise. The law is simple. Politics are complicated. This is true. Uh, relax, there's nothing I can't handle. Alright, I've got everything I need. I'm pleased to hear that. From everything I've heard, you're a competent freelancer. And, at the risk of sounding impertinent, we desperately need the help of someone competent. Thank you for your time, Captain. Whenever you're ready, I've authorized the Unreliable to land at the Grand Colonial. Alright. Transmission terminated. Captain, we are now clear to land at the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. Uh, let's see. I don't know why they're trusting me uh, to catch Ocean Helen's murderer. Or killer, not murderer. Uh, what can you tell me about Eridanos? Eridanos is a hydrogen helium <coughs> gas giant, distinguished by a well-defined ring system. The Eridanos atmospheric complex is a system of land masses propelled through a thin layer of the upper atmosphere where humans are potentially capable of surviving. Okay. There are several reasons why someone would hire your services. In descending order of likelihood, they are as follows. Desperation, confusion, mistaken identity, ah. inebriation, and genuine faith in your abilities. Oh my god. Thanks, Ada. Love you, girl. You're just a bundle of joy, aren't you? Sounds good. Good luck, Captain. Thanks, Ada, for your words of encouragement. Oh, this is new.
can't really read any of it though because it's all torn up That was pretty sweet. Now what? Let's take the lift down. Watch out. This place is half sublight thugs and half top rungers on vacation. <coughs> Both are dangerous. Hello, hello, hello there. Hope Ladies. your atmospheric entry wasn't too troublesome. As a guest of honor, you deserve the best in comfort. Sublight Salvage and Shipping Underground, or Slug, as we like to call ourselves, is delighted to welcome you to Eridanos. Slug. I'm the Grand Colonial Head Bellhop. I'm here to grab your bags and direct you, the inspector, to the Grand Ballroom, which was the scene of the crime. Uh, can you fill me in on the details? What's the mood of the hotel? A lot of people are set. Yeah, yeah, sounds great. I was promised a room. <laughs> I'll say. There's nary a soul here who wasn't a fan of hers in some respect. Just about everybody's shocked. Some people are inconsolable. Hell, even Black Hole Birdie, Helen's bow has wandered off. Some folks think he had something to do with the murder, but yeah, I don't believe it. He might have. I still don't understand why anyone would have it in for Ms. Helen. We should ask if they're comping the minibar. This might take a while if you get me. Folks get heated when it comes to serials and their actors, I suppose. Uh, was she a divisive figure? Typical show business. Great, can you show me to my room, please? Mm, not particularly. <coughs> but I think some folks were jealous of her success, or otherwise viewed her as a threat. Reckon how she came about her fame didn't help. How'd she get famous? I take it she made some bad choices. I'm surprised anyone could, uh, would care about a little back channel dealing. Actually, Helen didn't do anything like that. She was just so stellar in her roles and the public liked her so much that she got a following all on her own. She ended up about as famous and high runged as your average VP, which rubbed a lot of Byzantines the wrong way. Actors ain't supposed to get preferential treatment. I, I imagine the admin briefed you about Helen's part in the Spectrum Brown unveiling. Too bad about the postponement. Not so terrible as Helen's murder, but still a crying shame. I thought you worked for Slug, not Rizzo. Uh, was the product release a big deal? Probably, it probably was. Hope they uh, keep it cancelled. One less bullshit corporate parade. Damn it, again? Oh, come on! The launch would have been so swell! Rizzo's rented out the ballroom at the Grand Colonial and invited all those guests for just this purpose. Rizzo's ain't unveiled the product since the debut of Spectrum Ultraviolet. Invisible to the naked eye and, as it happened, prone to causing massive internal bleeding. Oh my god. Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. Once you're ready, head down to the lobby. The ballroom is just behind the elevators. Meanwhile, I'll grab your bags. Bags? What bags? Uh, I don't need to take my bags. Uh, you're making fun, right? Your luggage, belongings, kit, wherever you keep what you ain't wearing. You're still giving me a pretty blank look. Suppose it's none of my business, but do you just wear the same set of clothes all the time? <laughs> Maybe you should uh, take that stupid hat off before you criticize my appearance. Oh my god. I have a lie option? Uh, of course. Of course I do. Are you telling me you don't? No, that would be ridiculous. No, that would be ridiculous. I just want to uh, wear what, uh, whatever. I strip from my enemies' corpses, honestly. Hey, this is a hotel-mandated piece of my uniform, and it's very official. Even if it is a bit stupid. 
Anyhow, I'll look for you in the grand ballroom later. Hope you can unravel this mystery, Inspector. Cool. Oh my god, that hat is worse far away than it is up close. I could have sworn you just said we are so No one's letting <coughs> her out until the murder investigation is completed. Do you have any idea who I am? I could very Let's see. That takes us downstairs somewhere. Greetings, Inspector. No need to check in here. Your paperwork has all been processed. <coughs> you should be able to find the Colonial right ahead. Yeah, but uh, where's I my room? I hope you catch the killers okay, soon. Okay, never mind. Inspector. I don't want to see the Grand Colonial shut down. Oh, it lets us out right there. Stars. Jeez. This is the hotel? Yeah, it's pretty huge. I only ever see in a place like this in periodicals. Or that one episode of Agent Khan. Hey, hey. I appreciate Never mind. the friendly sort, but that's enough drawing. Much more of this, and they're gonna start It really is a terrible shame. I absolutely adored her series. I almost can't imagine someone okay. rich enough to do such a thing. Well, this is the hotel, so. If my room is anywhere, it's in there. Is that? Oh my God, elevator music. Yes! Well, ladies. Ooh. The murder has inflicted severe emotional trauma. I demand a room upgrade. Bertie Holcomb is likely beside himself in grief. I'm sorry, ma'am, but while the hotel is an active crime scene, I regret to inform you that all new bookings, room upgrades, room downgrades, and in-room massages are suspe- Oh, you're the special inspector. Mr. Yes, Kincannon warned me you'd be checking in soon. Uh, right. You happen to have my room key? Did you find Constable Keen? Who? Yes. I mean, no. I mean, I, I, I don't yet, but I will, Inspector, ma'am. You'll be staying in our luxurious penthouse suite, vacated just recently. So recently that, unfortunately, the room's still being cleaned. I'm sure it'll be ready for you by the time you've examined the crime scene. I believe Constable Keen should be waiting for you in the Grand Ballroom. Well, that's a goddamn shame. Uh, I didn't see it on the way in. Oh, the ballroom's right behind the tower elevators. Swing a left or a right, then cut through the crowd of spectators. You can't miss it. Sounds good. Thank you, ma'am. Hold on a second. I could have swore. Th I'll bet you ten bits. This is that is the game's theme song. Oh come on! Why is the lounge closed? I wanted brunch. Pool? Oh no. Okay. I'm not gonna. With Halsey on Helen gone. Black hole birdies disappeared, you know. The poor f Oh, thank the law. Inspector, you don't know how relieved I am to see you. All right, let's skip the pleasantries. I'm ready to do the investigation. Constable Keen, nice to meet you. We spoke over the Aether Wave. I actually I was looking for the bar. <laughs> do they serve drinks with the umbrellas here? Constable Maria Keen, it's good to meet you in person, Inspector. Dr. Goodnight. Ecstatic to make your various acquaintances and so on. Are we finished with the pleasantries? There's something I'm excited to show you. I'm guessing you're talking about the body? Uh, what have you got for me, doctor? Is it directions to the spa? Oh my god! What have An you got? An extraordinary contraption. You'll love it. Our coroner has developed a device which may prove useful in your investigation. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Oh, please. You make it sound as if I'm turning over stolen goods. Behold, my discrepancy amplifier. Hold it in your hands. Feel the way it hums with ontological potential. Uh, looks like a scope modified with a computing device. 
I work with the materials to which I have access. Halcyon has no shortage of rifles. The discrepancy amplifier uses a deterministic model of our universe to detect the discrepancy between what should be and what actually is. Then it renders any discrepancies visible by using the power of magnification. Okay. Uh, thanks, got it. Sounds like something OSI teaches. So it's a magnifying glass. Oh my god. It's yes. It's a magnifying glass, but an extraordinarily powerful one. It looks through the glass of reality itself. I'm contractually prohibited from endorsing off-brand technology, but I'll bend that rule just this once. You'll want to peer into the amplifier and examine the crime scene. Okay. Okay, so I just press... Wait, to be, uh, be sure to equip the... Amplifier in the weapon slot. Oh! Oh, okay. Hmm. Didn't know it counts as a weapon. <coughs> Alright, um, if I remember right, that's how you switch. Scanning, okay. Footprints. I swear I could have saw something else, but... The discrepancy amplifier is now operational. Greetings, designated inspector and or unauthorized larcenist. This unit has detected a discrepancy related to Halcyon Helen. Unscheduled expiration of... Begin amplification? Uh... Smack it around a little, you'll speak when spoken to! <laughs> God, holy shit. Uh, I see you've been designed with a modular uh, analytical system. What else can you do? The discrepancy amplifier has been programmed with advanced speech recognition, scientific analysis, and deterministic calculus protocols. Oh, you'll love this. Amplifier, tell the inspector about your features. Please do not interrupt the discrepancy amplifier. The discrepancy amplifier is programmed to take instruction from its registered or designated inspector. How curious. I must have set its impertinence levels to flagrant. This unit's <laughs> features include an automated personality simulator. This unit has been programmed to simulate joy and satisfaction in assisting you. Sounds great. Uh, let's get started. Tell me about the discrepancy you found. Enough. Let's focus on the case. This footprint stands out from the normally spotless floor of the Grand Ballroom. Typically, the ballroom is cleaned twice daily, which means this must have been made by either Helen or her assailant or assailants. Uh, do the size of these footprints match anything you have on record? Taste the dirt. Footprint is a tailor-made 8.75, suggesting that its owner was very particular about their shoe size. It is also the exact size that Halcyon Helen typically prefers. There are traces of dirt throughout the footprint. Could it be foul play? The dirt carries traces of fertilizer, as well as the faint signs of crushed purpleberries and grass. Grass, fertilizer, and purpleberries can all be found in the purpleberry orchards, located not far from the Grand Colonio. So Helen must have been in the, at the orchard before she died. Good work, Amplifier. This deduction appears sound. Good work, Inspector. I had a feeling we'd make some progress once we brought you onto the case. You'll need Administrator Ludovico to grant you access to the orchards. Contact him through the secure access terminal in your penthouse suite. Oh, Check sweet. in with the concierge. Your room should be ready by now. Great. If it isn't, I may have to go shake someone by the collar. Please do. Oh my god, I can loot her corpse. And Ellie is just happy about that! <laughs> I knew I should have gotten her autograph when I had the chance. Why is everybody staring? Didn't nobody teach them to respect the dead? Oh gosh, is that Miss Helen? Can we see? That's funny. Oh, uh, what? Oh, Pravati, I missed you, Pravati. 
guest complaints. Yeah, I'm not I'm not going through a bunch of snobs complaints. Oh, hello. The Grand Colonial front desk warmly welcomes you, Inspector. It's a pleasure to see you again. How may I be of assistance to you, Inspector? My room key, please. Uh, Grand Colonial sure is interesting. Wanted to check in my room. Check if my room was ready yet. Uh, you got high profile guests here, right? Uh, what can you tell me about them? My apologies, Inspector, but that would be a severe violation of guest privacy. We here at the Grand Colonial firmly believe that. All right, my supervisor just walked out of earshot. Some folks just don't understand the importance of gossip. Ah. About whom? And what would you wish to know? Uh, did you notice anything about Halcyon Helen before she died? Heard uh, Black Hole Birdie was staying here. Helen's co-star. Okay. You know, out of everyone here, I probably knew the least about Helen. I'm not much of an Aether Wave watcher myself. And Helen always had a crowd of admirers chasing her, you see. So she rarely stopped to chat. Friendly enough, surely, but always seemed untouchable. Emphasis on seemed. Uh, did you ever see her acting strangely? Was she closer with some of, some other people? Oh, with some people than others? Hmm. Now that you mention it, she was usually calm and collected, but every so often I'd see her looking all wild-eyed and intense. It seemed as if she was determined about something. Or maybe she was just hungry? That woman ordered a lot of food. Maybe show business gives you a faster metabolism. Pregnant, maybe? Ah, uh, Birdie. Is he bigger than he is dumb, or dumber than he is big? I have a bet with a friend. Not sure we'll ever get it to pay out. <laughs> Rudy used to be Helen's beau, though he isn't anymore and not just because she's dead. If I had a million bits, I'd spend everyone just to learn what caused their split. Okay, so we've got a suspect already. If looks could kill, he'd have put her in the ground ten times over. Man's clearly jealous of her success compared to his. See, I'd bet we're the only two people thinking about him in all of Eridanos. And I only am because you mentioned his name. If you leave woolly cow milk out, it turns to curds. Leave the curds out, they begin to get stale, then rot. Woolridge is on his way to the trash bin, and everyone knows it. Either he's in denial, or he knew Helen would be checking out soon, judging by his increasing demands for a room upgrade. Oh, that was him! Okay. Big suspect. That's a shame, Inspector. What if I wanted to know a little about you? Ask away. I'm a freelance captain, uh, changing the colony, one high stakes encounter at a time. Uh, I like to let my reputation speak for me. Fewer people who know who about me, the better. I'd say too bad. That's mean. A dashing gunslinger type, then. I'm sure the investigation will turn out splendidly in your hands. Or at least Mr. Kincannon seems confident enough to believe so. Great. Uh... It certainly is a marvel of modern ingenuity, luxury, and ambition. Please, allow me to answer any curiosities you might have about our building and the amenities on offer. Tell me everything, just everything. Twice the size of the next biggest room, and kit it out with any amenity you want, as well as many that you won't. Best to enjoy it while you can, Inspector. Typically, the only people who can afford the penthouse suite have enough bits to suffocate everyone on Terra 2. Also, please inform me if Woolridge gives you a hard time about getting a better room than his. Don't tell him I said this, but everyone on staff wants to strangle him. <laughs> that bad, huh? All right, uh, is there anything special about the upper levels? Most certainly. All the important folks can be found in the utmost parts of the hotel. You can hardly walk three feet without bumping into a tossball grate or a board exec. Though maybe don't bump into them. Could be harmful to your health. Uh, no one seems to talk much about uh, about the upper levels of the hotel. I haven't noticed that, but okay. Who would be interested in a staff-only area? 
Most folks never ask about the sewers beneath Arizzo's plant, either. Alright, uh, you can't honestly tell me there's nothing of interest in an entire half a hotel. Guess you don't, uh, you don't lump yourself in with the other workers. Not mincing words, huh? Let's get, the, uh, go over the uh, other levels of the hotel, then. Oh, no, Inspector, ma'am. I live down there, too. But that doesn't mean I plan to abide in the bowels of the Grand Colonial forever. The best thing about Sublight compared to other organizations is the potential for upward mobility. We bottom rungers get in, do our job, do it well, then move up and on. This is but one rung on the grand ladder of life. You see? Sure. If you're sure. Ah, yes. We are most pleased to offer you our grandest of grand accommodations, Inspector. The penthouse suite on our topmost floor is now available for you. The last guest left her belongings behind when she vacated unexpectedly, so we needed a little time to tidy the suite up for you. Simply call the elevator in the lobby and our highly skilled operator will deliver you to your private floor with efficiency and cheer. Okay. Finally checked in, I see. I hope you're fond of the penthouse. It's pretty much the best seat in the whole hotel. You shouldn't want for any amenity you might find elsewhere. Should act as a better headquarters for the investigation than any space dust covered ship. That and you ain't got room service on a ship. Th this you ever is need anything, come find me. Even if you don't, you can still swing by. I'm always happy to chat. I'm gonna take so much advantage out of you. <laughs> uh, curious about you. How'd you get to be a bellhop? Did you know the victim? Uh, if I ask you a few questions about the crime scene? Oh, of course. That is, uh, maybe not on a personal level, but I'm one of her biggest fans. Even started an association of like-minded individuals. I'd lament not having anything to meet about anymore, but the newer tribe just ain't done it for us. Still, there goes my hopes of a Terra on Monarch reunion episode. Uh, there are other celebrities, right? Uh, she's just an actress. They're, uh, they're a bit of a bundle. Uh, were newer serial episodes that bad? Guess so. Sorry, friend, but I guess you don't get it. Helen was special. Had a certain quality about her. Like she would really go out and fight injustice. You look at Woolrich, and no disrespect to the man, but you just don't get the same feeling. He reminds me more of a vacuum suit without nobody in it. Uh, don't tell him I said that. Now, what can I lend a hand with? Uh... Please, do. You want to give me some details on how you came across the body? Oh, you found the body. Sure, I'd taken a check in the barroom every few hours prior to the unveiling. Just to make sure no sprats had snuck into the place. You understand? Found her right before I was set to head back to my room in the lower levels for my mandated five-hour sleep period. Tell ya, thank the law for caffeinoid. Been too upset to get a wink of sleep since. And hey, now I can finally see smells. <laughs> Go to sleep, dude! Uh, did you kill Helen? You can tell me if you did. It'll be our little secret. Holy shit! Uh, any idea why? Any idea why they uh, would have been? Helen would have been in the ballroom after hours. Can I ask him the second question and then ask him the first? Beats all hell out of me. Maybe she was uh, practicing for the unveiling. Oh my god! I can't. What? No. Just because I found the corpse doesn't mean I made her a corpse. I was in shift all day. Besides, I loved Helen's cereals. Well, the old ones anyway. The newer episodes are hot junk on a warm day. Okay. Sure. What's on your mind? Uh, did you see her before her death? Of course I did. I just told you I found the body. Oh, wait. Uh, you mean when she was still breathing? Um, uh, no, no, of course I didn't. 
Plus, it's untoward for an employee to speculate about the actions of a hotel guest. Not that I saw any hotel guests interacting with her. That sounds suspicious as fuck. Honestly, you're more than a little right. <laughs> I've been burning at the britches to share my theories. Day of her death, I saw Helen leave the hotel premises with the profit of profitability. And didn't see her come back. A little on the suspicious side, I think. Seemed especially strange seeing how, as far as I was aware, the two didn't get on. Okay, so what's the deal with the profit of profitability? She a guest. Why didn't Helen and the profit get along? Uh, yep. Gives seminars on increasing profit margins and the like. Can't say much else, seeing how I ain't in the gossip market. Or as I can recall, Helen dismissed the ladies' seminars in some kind of interview. Said her co-star used them, but she didn't. The top rungers are always ready to read between the lines of famous folks and seem to think the profit was on her way out. Woman lost a ton of bits and is set to lose more. I see. I hope all that helped. I'd like to be as useful as I can in the investigation. I just didn't want to steer anyone the wrong way. Okay, so that's a third suspect. Everyone's got theories. I don't reckon mine hold much more weight than anyone else's. All right, good. I'll see you later. Let's go up to the house. Hello there, my inordinately esteemed guest. If my hello were any more earnest, this loudspeaker would explode. What authorized floor can I bring you to? Uh, my penthouse. Next stop, the finest seat in the house. Sweet, sweet. Is that shrimp? In the bottle of that drink? Okay. Wow, nice. Oh, that's Nyoka. Oh, my all of my companions are here. Holy hell. Penthouse terminal. This is not Oh, this is a Holy shit, I get a conspiracy board. Yes! Yes! Alright, let's, uh, what's this? I hope I get some more weapons other than this. Like more new weapons, anyway. What's in here? Um. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Okay. The imprint left inside this suitcase matches the silhouette of Halcyon Helen's iconic handgun, the Needler. The weapon was recently removed. Interesting. Helen, where did we go wrong? Oh, Lord, I'm so sorry. That didn't mean for... <laughs> Helen, I love you. I love you so much. Okay, so maybe Birdie did it. <laughs> That was real quick, but I don't think it's solved just yet. What's this? It is a damn mess in here. Great fall, disappointed, free advice. Max. Oh, oh, it's just a little lounge. Okay. Inspector, I understand you've visited the scene of the crime. 
Halcyon Helen was an important cultural icon. She will be sorely missed. Skip the small talk. Uh, I don't know why you hired uh, me. I'm usually causing murders, not solving them. You mean Ruth Bellamy, Halcyon Helen, was uh, just a character. Halcyon Helen was more than a character. She was a brand. Her death will now be associated with Rizzo's Spectrum Brown. You understand why that worries me. Uh, I get it. You don't want to, uh, want to be responsible for a drink that kills people. Um, any publicly, any publicity is good publicity. Uh, just turn it into an ad, Spectrum Brown, heart-stoppingly good. Stop. Please warn me before you provide me with unsolicited ideas. There are waivers you need to sign. Back to the matter at hand. Tell me about your investigation. Uh, I've got a lead. I uh, can't tell you why, but I need to get to the orchards. Your discretion is appreciated. I admit, I'm beginning to feel more confident in this arrangement. Here, I'm granting you access through the gates to the orchards. You're officially authorized to see this investigation through to the end. There is one caveat. Cedric's being rather intransigent about letting you into the spaceport. Possibly he's trying to hide something. Possibly he wants to annoy me. Possibly both. Possibly. <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. Uh, you can't keep your people under control, Ludovico. Uh, so he locks his doors the moment an investigator arrives. That's not suspicious at all. I agree with the sentiment behind your snide remark. Unfortunately, the Piraeus spaceport is Cedric's purview, not mine. You have a lead to chase. Law speed, Inspector. All right, okay. Sweet. Now let's uh, get on down there. Wait, is somebody standing? Oh, yeah, Ellie's standing right here. You think they'll let us expense the booze? I'm gonna nick a few towels. They won't notice. Uh, no, they probably won't. There is such a thing as too clean. We ought to break open a few bottles and have some fun. Make a mess. Live a little. Have you seen the bedroom? Sam's special inspector add-on includes a magnifying glass to sleuth out the germs and parasites that other cleaning products leave behind. Oh my god, Sam. <laughs> you think June Light would like this place? Oh, probably not. I don't think she cares much for corporate comforts. I'm sure she'd like it, but no need to plan your honeymoon right now. Do you think it's strange that I kind of miss Ada? Max, what do you think? Eridanos is a technological marvel, and they use it as a tourist destination to sell sweets and alcohol. Okay. And Felix? So this is what a clean room smells like. Oh my god. Down we go. Hi there, Inspector. It might be a little beyond my job description to ask, but at my heart I'm still a bellhop. Was the sweet to your liking? Uh, I didn't even know they, they made hotel rooms this uh that large. It was great. It's fine. I didn't feel too strongly about it. Uh, I'm just here to investigate, ma'am. I don't really care about the hotel room. Uh, did I ask you to... T oh, my God. That's fucked up. Good. I'm glad. Now, I'd love to bring you to a floor of your choosing. Uh... Let's take a look at the VIP guest floor. Oh, so sorry, but you're not actually authorized to visit that floor. What authorized floor can I bring you to? Okay, then, um... See, if I put e exit, is that going to take me outside, or is that going to take me to ship? Okay. Okay, so, can I look at the map? 
Why is this all blurry? This is incredibly blurry. There we go. So I think we're facing the right direction. Yeah, yeah, it's over there. Okay. So, when we return in a moment, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're going to investigate the orchards and see what's up. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. <sighs> Drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will be back in a moment. Thank you.